Hi my friends, I'm so glad that you could join me for another Bible story time today. Last week, I told you the story of how Jesus, after his death and his resurrection, he appeared to some of his disciples. He appeared to them so that they would know that he was alive. Because they'd heard that he was alive, Mary had come and told them. She told them that she'd seen Jesus alive in the garden, but they didn't believe her. So Jesus appeared to them so they would know that he was alive. Well, later that day, there were two friends who were walking along the road from Jerusalem to a village called Emmaus. It was a pretty long walk. It was about 11 kilometers or seven miles. There were these two friends. One was named, his name was Cleopas, and the other, we don't know their names, so why don't we call her Sarah, Cleopas and Sarah. They are making their way from Jerusalem all the way to the village of Emmaus, and as they were walking along the road, they were talking to each other, and they were talking about all the things that had happened over the last three days. They were remembering. They were remembering Jesus teaching them, and then they were remembering Jesus' death, and they were remembering what it felt like to know that he wasn't with them anymore. And they even started talking about the incredible and completely unbelievable news that Jesus was actually alive. They didn't believe it, but they were talking about it. As they were walking along the road and talking, a man came up alongside them and started walking with them, and it was Jesus. But they couldn't tell that it was Jesus. We don't know why, but for some reason, they couldn't see that it was him. And Jesus said to them, what are you talking about? And Cleopas and Sarah said, well, you must be the only person who doesn't know what's been going on in Jerusalem all these past three days. And Jesus said to them, well, what has been going on? And they told him. Cleopas and Sarah said, it's about Jesus. He was a prophet. We believed he was a prophet from God, and more than that, we believed he was going to be our Messiah, that he was going to save us from the Roman Empire. And the chief priests and the temple leaders, they, they put him to death. We watched him die. And then they said, now the most unbelievable stories are coming to us that he's actually alive. Some friends of ours, they ran to the tomb this morning and they said the stone was rolled away and they went inside the tomb and Jesus' body wasn't there. And they saw a vision of two angels who said, Jesus is risen. Go. Tell everyone. Our friends came and told us this, so we went to the tomb too and we looked inside the tomb and sure enough, his body was gone. But we didn't see any angels and... Well, really, we have no proof that Jesus is alive. It all just feels hopeless. Jesus said to them, Why exactly is it that you don't believe? And as they walked along the road, Jesus began to tell the story of their people. They began to tell Jesus' story. And he started all the way back with Moses. He told the story of Moses and how God delivered the people from slavery in Egypt and he told the stories of King David and the stories of the prophets and he told the stories of Jesus. And as he talked they walked along the road and pretty soon they were nearing the village of Emmaus. And as they got close Jesus kind of moved to the side and made to walk alongside the village and to keep on going. And Cleopas and Sarah said, no, 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 come on, come on, come to our house. Come to our house for supper. They'd been feeling all kinds of feelings while he was talking to them. They were starting to feel some hope again. And so they wanted to keep talking with him. So they invited Jesus to come join them for supper and he sat down around their table and he picked up the bread and as he broke it, 
their eyes were opened and they could see that it was Jesus alive at their table, holding their bread in his hands. And as soon as they recognized him, Jesus vanished. And Cleopas and Sarah looked at each other, and they were shocked and amazed, and they said, well, of course, didn't we feel our hearts burning as he talked to us, as he taught us just like we used to before he died? And they gathered up all their things and they went right back on the road and they had headed right back to Jerusalem. They walked those 11 kilometers all over again. And as they arrived in Jerusalem, they went to the house where they knew that the disciples were staying and they found a whole group of them there. And they were chattering amongst themselves because Simon had seen Jesus too. They said, he is alive. Simon saw him earlier today. And then Cleopas and Sarah shared their story. They shared how as Jesus broke the bread, they recognized him and saw him sitting with them right at their table. Apparently, Jesus was popping up all over the place, making sure that people knew that even, the, even death, even hatred, even violence, none of it could overcome the love of God in Jesus. That's our story for today. And before we go, I want to bless you. If you are with somebody, you can take your palm and put it on their arm or their shoulder. And if you're by yourself, you could put your palm over your heart. May God bless you and keep you. May God's face shine on you and be gracious to you. And may the love of God flow over and all around you and give you peace. I'll see you again tomorrow.